Hey folks, welcome to our video tutorial on working with the accordion panels and changing the headings. There are two types of headings and there's two different ways of changing it. There is the overall heading for your panels right here, which basically tells your visitor what the entire section is about. Optionally, you can get rid of it. The rest of these things, these panel headers right here, we'll expand that by clicking on it. Uh, we're going to change this slightly using a slightly different mechanism than we do with the header up top. And also in order to make sure that the panel will open and close, you, you do need a header, okay, or some sort of a, a panel tab right here. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? We'll go into our editor, Expression Web 4, we'll expand the library, components, and the accordion panels, and finally double click on the accordion panels.htm page. Now up top we have an unlinked H2 tag. If I click on it, it tells me it's an H2 tag. If I want to change it, I'm just going to, you know, my favorite method is to select a bit of text inside there somewhere. Click the tag and the quick tag selector and new heading goes here. Uh, that way it keeps the H2 formatting when I select it. Save to update. We'll just quickly jump back to our page, refresh, and new heading goes here. Now as you notice I have a page open in my web browser. I always go back and forth from my editor to my web browser. Uh, I refresh my page when I make a change to make sure it looks the way I want it to look uh, for my visitors and then I go back to making more edits. Okay, I don't use the design window too uh, as my final preview so to speak. I always check it in the web browser uh, before I close my library page down so I can quickly control Z or control Z to undo any mistakes I may have made. But let's jump back to our editor and let's talk about the actual tabs. This is sort of where you need to have a browser open so you can see that we have accordion panels, testimonial slider, contact, drop down panel. You may need to sort of just a quick reference if, you're, if you can't remember the names of the tabs, right, or the titles of the panels. We want to call it that because they are title tabs. Um, so you may need to have a quick look. And to make it easy, we'll start with accordion panels. We want to change this over to something else. Well, let's go back, accordion panels, there it is. Now to change the text, this is very important. What you need to do is right click on the highlighted text or the, 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 the title, and it tells you right here it's an H4 panel title. You need to right click on it and select hyperlink properties. As you see down here in the address, it links to something called Collapse 1. Basically that is the style that allows the panel to open and close when you click on the title. That's what tells the panel to open the correct panel when you click on the title. Okay, so you don't want to change that. In the later videos, adding and removing panels, we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail. But for now, just don't touch the link. All you need to do is in the text to display window, change this text right here. My new title. Simple as that. Click OK. It's done. Save. We go back to our browser. Refresh. We'll see that it's changed. And of course, now we can expand it and contract it. And you'll notice that the icon has changed a little bit in size. Uh, we'll cover that in another tutorial. But for now, that's just a quick how to change the title tag and the proper method for doing it. 